Alrighty, good people. Hope all is well. In this video, we're going to look at finding the roots of a quadratic equation with the leading coefficient greater than one. Uh, so first of all, again, you want everything on one side of the equation and you have a choice here. You can move the 4v square over to the left hand side or you can leave it on the right hand side. Uh, let's move it to the left and I typically like to leave everything positive or my leading coefficient positive, but let's move it to the left first. So let's add 4v square or subtract 4v. It was positive over here, sorry. So subtract 4v square from each side. Okay, so that gives us negative 4v square uh, minus 21v minus 5. Equals 0. Now you can try to factor it like from that form. I like my leading coefficient to be positive if, if at all possible. So since I have an equation here, I can divide both sides by one, meaning I can divide everything by one or negative one or multiply by negative one either way. Um, and let's do that. Let's just multiply. Let's use multiplication. Looks a little bit better. So we're going to multiply both sides by negative 1. And what that'll do, if I multiply this left-hand side by negative 1, it will change all of the signs in the parentheses. And that will make that positive 4v squared plus 21v minus 5. And then 0 times anything is 0. So now I want to try to factor, now that I have everything on one side set equal to 0, I want to factor 4v squared plus 21v minus 5. So I need to use the AC method to try to factor this. And that should be plus 5. I'm sorry about that mistake. Um, <clears throat> so use the AC method to factor this. So 4 times 5 equals 20. I want to find factors of 20. That gives me a sum of the middle number of 21. Which would be 1 and 20. So we have 4V squared plus 1 v remember we're splitting the middle term using those two factors that we just found plus 20 v because 1 plus 20 is 21 keep the plus 5 equals 0 so the whole reason we do go through that process right there is so we'll have four terms and we can use the factoring by grouping method so now i'm going to make two groups And then after we make two groups, we factor out the GCF from each group. So the GCF of the first group is just V. That leaves me with 4V plus 1 in the parentheses. The GCF of the second group is 5. Again, that leaves me with 4V plus 1 in the parentheses. So I have that common binomial of 4V plus 1. So now I'm going to factor out the common binomial, which is 4v plus 1. So when I factor out the 4v plus 1, that leaves me with v plus 5 to go in the other set of parentheses. All right, so we've gone through this AC method. We have this completely factored, this expression completely factored. So now we need to set each one of the factors equal to zero and solve the equations. So anytime you have that equal zero, once you get it completely factored, you need to set each one of your factors equal to zero and then solve the equation. So let's subtract one from each side. and divide by 4. So negative 1 fourth. Then over here subtract 5 from each side. Okay so my answers are ne v equals negative 1 fourth or v equals 5. Again for this system, the software system, we want to separate the answers by commas. 
and they probably already have the V equals there so V equals negative one-fourth comma negative five alrighty good people I hope you found that video to be helpful and I will see you on the next one thank you